Welcome to Puerto Princesa. We are on the island of Palawan. Woo! Yes. So we had a few days out here. We're definitely excited to be uh, more on this uh, kind of a beachy island, if you will. You know, it's definitely like one of these islands where people think of beach, White sandy, yep, all that. So we have water, yeah, snorkeling, diving. It should be beautiful. We've got um, two nights here in town before we head out of town. So we'll take a look, uh, kind of see what our hotel situation is going to be like, how we're going to get there. We'll show you the room, uh, kind of give you a whole breakdown. It's supposed to be a pretty nice resort. So we're staying at the Princessa Garden uh, for two nights. Oh, that pretty excited. Nice. Should have, yeah. from what I see online, it's got a nice pool. Should make the kids super happy. Yeah, they love that. Yeah, so now that the, the trick is kind of getting there. I haven't done a whole lot of research on like taxis and I did not reach out to the hotel for shuttle. But it's kind of near the airport. I think it's only like seven or eight minutes. Oh, nice. So from that, here. That be yeah, by car. So we'll get into the airport, see what it's like. But man, look at that beautiful sunset. Yeah, there must have been a, a nice storm here. The ground's all wet, but that sky is such oh, that it's uh, huge. Yeah, quite beautiful. <laughs> okay, so into the airport. We didn't check any bags. Of course, everything on our back. Uh, Cebu Pacific, they were definitely like weighing bags. So I thought they were going to bust me at least a little bit because I'm past 7 kg uh, but they didn't they let it go so they kind of combined all of our weight so five people times seven and our total amount was less than that uh 35 kg right yeah, yeah. so I, I I think that's yeah, how kind of we're under and, yeah uh, kids are at like suitcase. six seven a little bit just two cases yours was just a little bit over right so, so little yeah they didn't snag them up for anything yeah so we're thankful for that yeah. guys they don't have to go to the bathroom look at this baggage claim no yeah baggage claim is why uh if at all possible, we prefer to skip baggage claim or else you're going to be kind of dealing with all that right there. Oh, bathroom break. OK, well, we're going to take care of all that and uh, touch base with you once you step out of the airport. So I just checked on my phone. Grab it appears to not be available here. So there's a whole line of taxis over here. We'll just see uh, what that's all about. Of course, there's probably going to be some kind of like airport premium. Hello, sir. Taxi. Francesca Garden. Francesca Garden. Yeah. These guys, how much should they charge? Uh, no idea, sir. No idea, okay, all right. All right, all right. Hello. We are going to Francesca Garden. How much? How much? That's 350. Oh, seems high. Yes, Let's check with these guys. Francesca Garden? Yes, sir. How much for uh, Francesco Garden? Francesco Garden is 350. 350. Okay, seems pretty. Uh, you so go with the hotel, see that guy. Which guy? Up there. See that uh, beside the youth hotel. Ah, yes, yeah. that's Francesco Garden. Garden. Okay, we check there. But then maybe we come back. Thank you. Honest, right? So 350. But they're saying that this guy here is uh, from the hotel. So we'll take a little picture. I did not pre-reserve, so I don't know if that's a possibility or not. Yeah, hello, how are you? Francesca Garden. Now, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pre-reserve, but Jonathan Rush, we are checking in tonight. Did you, you didn't book? No, no, but we are staying at the hotel. Can you get us in? All right, cool. Even better. Thank you. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Travel and tourist card. Okay, so again, that was great. That was probably our own fault for not pre-booking. But the guy uh, would have been 350 pesos from one of the taxis, or uh, this guy's gonna get us into the van. Even better. Okay, count. Well, that worked out. So basically, uh, yeah, we did we did not pre-book, which we probably should have. But he's from the hotel anyway, so they're gonna get us in. Now they might sort of charge us when we get there for the ride. But who's okay. to say? We'll find out. Like, but you know. yeah, it's great. <laughs> so it would have been 350 by taxi. So that works out okay. Man, that sky is. Incredible. Gorgeous. Right? See the pinks and purples and blues. And blues. Uh oh, I dropped that card. Okay, Air Force, why don't you walk, bud? We're almost there. Okay. Okay, good boy. Ooh, what's this? Oh, uh, yeah, tours and whatnot. So we'll take a peek at that, but there, it's going to be everywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy we got the free shuttle. Sure huh? Well, that was nice that the taxi guy told us about this. That was You know really what I'm saying? Insane. I would have paid 350 But he's like, oh, just so you're going to there, come here. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll load up the shuttle van and see you at the hotel. Okay. Thank you. Oi. All right, guys. Oh, it's going up there. Look at that guy. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you. See you later. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, this is cool. It's like a, it's like a sand dollar with a little emblem on it. Oh, of course. Do you want the necklace? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Can you go get your dog Yeah, go get one. Seashells. Go get seashells. Oh, is this a beer? Oh. Lemongrass. Oh, lemongrass. Even be probably even better. Thank you. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't bring it back. Okay. Ah. Uh, that hit the spot. That's yummy. Lemongrass is kind of like a sugar cane. Are you coming back? Come back. Come on, buddy. You want to hold my hand? Come on this side. All right. Well, it's a beautiful property already. I mean, hitting you with the... Uh, the swag, the drinks. You can see you got a, the pond, there's koi. Wow, this is nice. The guy's playing like a xylophone type thing. Forest. 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 His name is Forest. Forest. Cedar, you want to hold it for him? Thank you. Cool. All right. So we will get uh, checked in, kind of understand the process here, but. Wow, beautiful. I'm already like, are you guys impressed by this place? Yeah. It's gonna be nice. Cool. Cedar, you excited? Me too. What'd you guys find? Um, hey kids, do you mind helping us feed the fish? Yeah. Whoa, oh, oh. Just a little handful and toss it in there. Toss it in there. All the fishes will come after it. Wow. It's a bit too dark on the GoPro, I know, but uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> See, I told you. The wow, fish are going I'm nuts. Excited. Go, go. You got a light? See, see like that. Oh, you put a lot and they will come here. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's great. So just a free little basket of food. The wow. kids get to feed all the fish. So they're just about ready for us to check in. Um, wow, that's great. And that's the, it's like that cost any usually... You see like that costs a quarter or something, you know? So it's just like a free thing of food. <laughs> yeah, you have to like buy the those kids. Yeah, I have a hunch Forrest is gonna like really, really, really feed the fish. A lot, a maybe lot. too much. <laughs> yeah, they're all gonna get fat. <laughs> or he's gonna fall in. That's another <laughs> possibility then... <laughs> I was wondering about. It actually looks kind of deep. Well, it's dark, it's hard to see. Hard to tell. Okay, well, we'll yeah. get with reception, get checked in. All right, so while we're waiting for the check-in process, magic towel, you say? From this size of coin? Yes. To cold and refreshing Ooh. towel. Nice. Here, sir. All right, thank you. Oh, thank nice you. and cool. And so then I just unwrap. Let's see if it has any sort of like a scent on it. It feels cold and refreshing, which I'm already sweating. I've only been here for a few minutes. <laughs> oh, that smells good. Peppermint. Yeah. You think? Some kind of essence. Like a peppermint or a eucalyptus yeah. or a uh, tea tree. You guys see this already? The kids, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. You probably don't want mine because it's gonna <laughs> get my sweat. No, that looks just for you. Yeah, you just that's enjoy good. It. <laughs> I feel refreshed. So, I mean, I know it's night, but it's really a cool property. We might have to give you a day tour as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Well, just maybe after breakfast. So. Certainly. So the kind of the problem was we um, we booked this through Booking.com, which that's always been fine for us. <laughs> um, but they put us in rooms. Too which far. we have not seen yet, but the, the lady who's kind of helping us check in said, oh, the rooms are really far apart and each room has two twin beds. So typically we prefer joining rooms with like maybe two twins on one side and a king or, or, or like the queen, whatever, Bigger, the so one bed on the other. Bed, so. <laughs> Me, you and Forrest. <laughs> but they did not have that as a setup. So she's trying to um, see what they can arrange on the property and, yeah. and maybe we'll be in that very configuration that they talked about separate if it is so far apart we'll probably do like a uh boys room me and granite like we did in the hotel exactly in, the in uh cochin so yeah. in india so kelly and cedar would take the one and it might and we're here for two nights so maybe if it's the situation <laughs> tonight they would move us tomorrow or whatever it's just two nights we'll girls room boys room it's all and, good yeah. yeah i mean it's just the kids just like the they think it's a slumber party, so they're yes. happy. Yes, and, and they have mega chests here. <laughs> Forest, no! Whoa, that's a big old chessboard, isn't it? Okay, Granite. So you can kind of see the property is pretty expansive. It goes way out there by those lights, and then it goes beyond just this entrance here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. This I can't wait to see the rooms. We'll show you that. Maybe I can play chess for a while while they figure out the rooms. But, uh, yeah, it ultimately... 
just chairs to sit out it looks it looks nice i mean town so to get to town we'll experiment with that but there's a bunch of auto rickshaws out front that it's 150 pesos to get into town a little bit too far to walk for us but in town there's a lot of restaurants and things like that that we'll check out i'm certainly sure the the food here i mean the bar is looking really nice um yeah yeah it's looking pretty good so we'll see maybe we'll go into town tonight for dinner um i don't know i, I don't know the pools like where they are i know they have like really nice pools at least based on the photos i saw online but there's certainly a lot of water um integrated into the property so you've got kind of all these ponds these sitting areas it looks all natural with this beautiful woodwork yeah i think this is going to be a pretty nice pretty nice spot to stay for a couple of days in while we're in town kelly is that is that so relaxing <laughs> yeah force is pushing me <laughs> uh, nice job forest you think you think it'd be the opposite scenario yeah. but uh i think i'd just be sitting here reading a book but instead i'm going as fast as possible yeah from a four-year-old's <laughs> big muscles big muscles Woo. all right well either way like i said we're still waiting to hear about kind of the room configuration there's a slideshow that's going on one of these like little screens right there and the food here, at least from those photos, looks pretty good too. All right, so we are getting uh, checked into our room. They have to prep it first. And since it's now uh, just past uh, seven, like quarter after seven, we kind of went back and forth. We talked about going into town tonight, but I think what we're gonna do is go into town tomorrow to kind of explore the restaurant food scene in town. So tonight it's all about the hotel. Yeah, So absolutely. we'll show you the room they set. So basically, as I explained earlier, the, the two rooms they had us in, via booking were like not near each other. So like, no, we don't want to do that to you guys. So they, they sort of upgraded us into a, a pool yeah. view room. So I'm pretty excited to kind of understand what that whole thing's all about. <laughs> uh, but they said they're just gonna like prep the room and get it ready. So they've got our, our bags uh, and they're, you know, whatever that means, prepping and cleaning and all that, great. So we are gonna go to the Italian restaurant, uh, check that out, see what the food's like there. And it's right here, tomato and basil. Yeah, so perfect. You guys uh, excited to stay on on uh, on property tonight versus going yeah. to town? Yeah. Kind of a little break. It's always hard to do uh, a big thing on a travel day, yeah. but uh, it's certainly a popular restaurant. Lots of people in here. We'll see where it is we're supposed to sit, but uh, this might work. It's a little big though. Oh, look, organic coconuts. Nice. Uh, okay, well, let's. Uh, I suppose most of the coconuts are organic, though. What do you think? Yes, it's right out of the tree. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> They almost got me on that one. Dinner is served and it looks beautiful. I got the pork chop with mashed potatoes, some cut vegetables. Kelly, what'd you go for? I got the roasted vegetable, no, roasted squash pasta. And it is, I've already started to dig into it. It's delicious. Yeah. And Grina, you ordered a, uh, you ordered a casserole of lasagna. Yeah, five That's layers. Awesome. Five layers of goodness. And I've got this big Tabasco. That's the biggest Tabasco. That's like a, that's like a drum of Tabasco. Yeah. Nice. Dream for this family. And it's really good. Yeah, yeah, good. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Cedar, how's your spaghetti and grilled good. cheese? So, for, it's spicy for me, because I added Tabasco. To kick it up even more? Yeah. Nice. And how's the grilled cheese? It looks tasty. Like yes. cut cut cheese is not just American slices. I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. Forest, yummy. So this came off the kids' menu. Uh, the prices were absolutely outstanding. Amazing prices. Everything like this this tray here with the big pork chop and the potatoes, all that, everything under ten dollars. We even got an appetizer. Uh, my pina colada was like four bucks. Kelly's beer was like two dollars. So prices are outstanding, even at the resort. So I'm excited uh, in the future videos to kind of get into town, but the resort, food, good? Got it? Yeah, I mean, outstanding. Uh, we'll show you breakfast in the morning, but we're gonna go ahead and eat. I will show you the room here in just a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's yeah. what a meal. I'm really glad we chose to stay in. Yeah, this is great choice, yeah, especially late at night. Yeah, everyone's a bit tired on those travel days. Even though we didn't fly very far, it's just no. always a to-do. I think, you know, to, to have a low-key night on the travel day is, is a good way to go. All right, well, we'll see you here after dinner. Oh, cheers? Yes, yeah. cheers. Cheers. Pina colada, cheers. Woo, 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 woo. Voila. Thanks, everybody. Pina colada. Ah, uh, yeah, that hits the spot. Quite nice. Desserts are upon us. Not halu halu. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. So lots of layers. Ice. Ice. Ice cream. Crack like oatmeal on top. Mm -hmm. 
And then who knows What's what mysteries down are down underneath. Yes. And then what did you get, Cal? I got a coffee coffee jelly is it what it's called. It almost looks like a tiramisu. Ooh, yeah, maybe. It looks like it has like a foam. Is it custard? Wait, maybe probably powdered coffee, coffee on it. Here, let's just try oh, it. Whoa, that does look good. Yeah. I better get out on mm. some of that. It tastes kind of like a latte or a... I, sm I can smell like oh, it's coffee. it's really good. Oh, yeah. Jelly is such a funny thing to put in your food, but it is super popular here, and it's been delicious. That's certainly yeah. espresso. Good luck sleeping tonight, buddy. I'm not sleeping tonight. All right, I'm going to dive in on some of this thing. <laughs> you know, what's down here beneath the depths? Coconut milk, maybe? Looks like... Hmm. Something good, vanilla-ish. Yeah, let's see. That's so cold. Pretty, pretty good. What's the purple taste like? Uh, I don't know. Mm. So purple is like a super popular color for dessert here, and I think it's a something called ube, 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 and I think it might be sweet potato, but I'm not sure. Oh wow, sweet potato ice cream would be awesome. Mm, but that one really tastes like coconut. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. That's really good, that purple. Awesome. All right, well, dessert uh, will knock us out. Total okay, bill right here for dessert and dinner. Our gentleman just brought us to the room and they have it totally decked out in a uh, like a kid's tent. So cool. Balloons Forest. It says, hello, kids. kids welcome, kids. kids. So cool. Wow. That's that awesome. So because it's so dark, we'll probably have to end up doing a proper room tour tomorrow. But you just kind of get the idea here. So this this is because they had us spread out into other rooms. So now we've got like bed here, bed here. This is perfect for us. This is welcome. Cool, for us. Oh, happy birthday for us. <laughs> so yeah, you get the idea. It's great, yeah? This is so special. Yeah, it's yeah. so nice. So special. So we'll get settled. We'll do a proper room tour. It's more light and can really see like what everything looks like uh, out here. But, oh, the pool's out here. Okay, maybe we'll do a little sneak peek tonight. But let me, I got a sign for the baggage. So let me go do that now. Tell me about this bathroom. Whoa. And they put flowers in the water for us. I at the shower head. Ah, nice. Ooh, wow. range. Okay, so I guess we're technically going to be a room tour tonight. Okay. Huge rain shower. Whoosh. Whoosh. Cool. All right, so wow. hot tub, flowers. Look at this. Forest by your stool. So you can raise the sink. Woohoo. Yeah, then you can brush your teeth. Whoa, oh, look at yourself. that big boy. <laughs> awesome. Wow. The Hand soap, lotions, man. more flowers. Oh. All the towels. Here you go. First, smell this one. It smells banana. It smells like bananas? Mm, it could, could have been my hand soap. It smells like banana. Ooh, it does smell good. It's actually, yeah, very floral. Okay. Hi, Cedar. So then out here, work desk, station. We got these two beds. We're, gonna, we're all going to be kind of in the family bed space here. Certainly a TV. And yeah, just to give you another look of what they did, so they set this whole thing up, even little stuffed animals for the kids. So I, I assume the kids will get to like take that as a uh, little keepsake. Welcome, kids. Wow. Brought the bags. Cool. Taking some Instagram photos. Instagram photos. Woohoo. Check those out, of course, right there. Living room. One, two, all right. And then out here, how do I do this? Here we go. All right. So outside, check this out. I saw this just from the glass. Uh, so the restaurant's just right there. We have a little rocking chair. Yeah, and then right into the pool. And if my eyes don't deceive me, and we'll show you all this again in the morning, which is more light, but it looks like the pool actually channels into the main pool. So we could actually swim out our door, wrap around and swim to breakfast, or just like be in the main pool. So yeah, that's definitely what this is. At least as for how it looks tonight is that, yeah, that all connects. Cool, you guys uh, pretty pumped? I love this. Yes, love living this. the dream. Oh, and get the lounging couches. Yeah, well, how about two? 
Okay, guys, everyone excited? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. So we will, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll settle in, get comfy, maybe say a little goodnight, and then uh, we'll see you here in the morning. All right, breakfast time here at the resort. Quite a spread, it's like a kind of a mini buffet, but a variety of options. Granny got fish, banana bread. You got the garlic rice? Yeah, the garlic rice. Nice. So a little bit of stuff from the salad bar and nice. uh, Cashews. Yeah, Forrest going classic uh, mixed cereal, so golden stars and chocolate flakes and <laughs> cedar. All time classic Nutella bread. That was, a, that was a game changer when we found the Nutella up there. So, all right, uh, yeah, good breakfast spread here at the hotel. I think next we're gonna hit the pool. One of the best features of the hotel, of course, is the pool. This is our inaugural swim. Now. And, uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> what happened? What just happened? Forrest. What happened? Did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Eva, all right, give this one a go too. This one? Watch out there, Granite. Granite. <gasps> all right, so in we go. Okay, come on down. Is it cold? No. No? No? Now, the only trouble here for somebody forest age, I mean, this is our room right here, right out the door, boop, into the water, is. No, it's not cold. No. I don't want to say it's heated, no. but it's not like cold, but it's because it's hot out. Yeah, we'll go into the sun. Um, is it's, it's deep here, so there's no like kind of kids area. But this does channel through under that bridge to the main pool. You guys want to explore? Yeah. All right, let's hit it. Ooh, oh, this is the worst part. Daddy. Oh, hubba hubba. You? you want me, huh? All right, come on down. One more step. You can do it. Oh, I gotcha. That last all one. Right, yeah. I jump all the way in. Oh yeah. Oh, it's actually not so deep. It's I thought it looked, from the top there it looked much deeper than this. But can you you can stand, Greta? Yeah, I can stand. Cedar, can you stand here? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got it. Cool. So cool. I'm not so bad. There. Come on, Kelly, you can do it. I'm just a wimp. You're the first one to go into the water. Yeah, but <laughs> and I love water. I just don't like to be cold. Yeah. Go yeah. The sun. Yeah. So the kid, you guys taking off? Yeah. All right, we'll catch up to you. All right. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you think Porta Princesa? Puerta Princesa. Puerta Princesa. I just had the worst time with that. <laughs> uh, most people skip. They bypass it completely. Yeah, because there's all the beautiful, yes. well-known beaches. Yeah, for a reason, for mind a reason. you. Yeah, but, Coron but, and El Nido are the popular ones. Yeah. So, um, and they're secluded and they're beautiful and white sand and blue waters, but in town is also great. Like, yeah, I don't know. This, well, there's a ton of restaurants yeah. in town. It's certainly like, Dada. it's the hub, it's the center. Right. It's worth checking out, I think. Yeah. Um, so we got in, as you know, kind of, it wasn't like late, late, but it was dark and we were tired. Even on short two hour flights, you still get kind of spent. You wanna go? Yeah. Well, I was gonna say the, um, this property kind of reminds me of our Maldives experience, like just, green everywhere and it's like well if you just shut your eyes right you can be no, in the Maldives. like yeah i i get that vibe yeah so it's i think a cool and, they're, and this is a they're building this property so i think it's it could be something really beautiful and like so it's getting there yeah and so my opinion like if you're gonna come in kind of late and you don't want to do a four-hour drive up <laughs> to like el, el nido yeah staying in town's not bad for a day or two either at the beginning of your trip or at the end of the trip because you can still grab onto that little paradise feel yes from yeah. right here by the airport so this yeah, is not a good. not a bad place you can just head to, to town for a good dinner yeah. you can head to town for delicious um, ice cream you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna like beach hop while you're here yeah. but to, to just write off Porta Princesa as so a, a day or two no, you should, town, yeah, I would yeah. chill a day or two here because you get properties like this let's go check out the pools okay All right, here we go hey you guys are back what happened <laughs> We're excited to come back. Okay, well, welcome Anna. back, everybody. Yeah, Forrest. Let's go under a bridge. You want to go under the bridge? All right, let's check it out and see what it's all about. But, so this actually is, this little canal, this is, those are other rooms. So, uh, you know, we'll try not to scream too much. Oh, Forrest. You ready for the bridge, big boy? There's some people, uh, looks like they're doing laps. Yeah. Echo. Okay. Oh, hello. 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 That's kind of fun. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I wonder if there's any trolls under the bridge. Yeah. Oh. Cedar. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all in that corner. Say hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Hello. It's echoey. Yeah. All right. So just to give you then an idea of, of the whole property, 
This is a, a whole other set of uh, rooms, obviously, for the hotel. And then they're building, Kelly mentioned building. You can see that crane up there. That's going to be another 150 rooms to this property. Nice, Cedar, nice. Okay, so we've got a, a huge pool, as you can see. Yeah, beautiful pool. It's not so deep. And it actually looks like there's some uh, more like shallow areas that might be for kids here. Let's check out the back of the pool here. Now there are there are over water bungalows available here. Yeah, I can feel I'm, I'm kind of getting a little deeper. So there are over water bungalows. Um, and maybe I'll walk down there, but it's just right down these this little path here to the, I don't know, half a dozen or so maybe. Okay, so here's a little area. It's not so deep. Bloop. But it, I wouldn't call this like a kid's play zone because there's no like ledge. He, if he went this way, he'd fall right into the deep water. See, are you going to sunbathe? Yes. Nice. Yeah, so that's that's all coming online, actively being built. Even right now, I can hear them hammering away and whatever. You got these rooms here. You got our rooms. You got the overwater bungalow. Oh, here's the kids' zone. There is a there is so there is a kids' pool. And it's still deep though. That's so so again, it's it's got, it's got a a ledge, a big platform for the kids, but that's deep though, right there. So again, I wouldn't necessarily call that a like a proper kids. Like you you need to supervise in that area. So, Kel, there's somewhat of a shallow area over here, but it still has a ledge like this. Okay. So, I'm just kind of reflecting on, is there an actual kid area? toddler zone? Well, I think over there, maybe. Well, that's, oh, you mean underneath that bridge? Yeah. So, we should, should we go explore that canal? We should explore. All right. Guys, we're still exploring. This one's no Come for us, come. We can come back here if you want, Cedar. So, from breakfast, Cedar spied a water slide. I'm going to go slide this All right. I guess the kids' area is there. Uh, that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. And then... Look how big this pool is. It's huge. This is a nice property. Yeah. It's super well maintained, lots of green spaces, lots of little like nooks and crannies so you feel yeah. like a little bit well, like this, you have your own private. It's like Venice. I is that it, the one that's underwater? Venice is, yes, underwater. Yes, it's like Venice because we have canals. I feel like... <laughs> it's getting deeper. We're like the Maldives. Like the Maldives. <laughs> Can I reach here? I don't I like know. Tita. Let's see. All right, well, we're heading towards Daddy. this other canal section. I do see a water slide. Now we're the only people with kids in the water right now, so I hope the slide's on. Yeah, it might not be. Well, well I bet we could ask. I mean, it's right there. Yep. Okay. And so, the lifeguard seems pretty tentative. Yes, yes. He caught us jumping. Yeah, we were doing cannonballs off the. Oh, you saw. We were doing Daddy. like jumps off the, off the deck there, and Daddy, he was not happy about that. Okay, it's getting shallow. More shallow. Okay, so here we go into this next section. First. Let's find out if that slide's on. Okay. Yeah, very shallow here. All right, I got a hitchhiker. It's warm. All right, buddy. Yeah, it's warmer. I think it's. I, sun yeah, I think it's the sun heating it. Yeah. Strictly no diving besides this. There are life jackets <laughs> over there. I see. I saw that too. Yeah. Hello. I go. All right. I go. Okay, so here you go. You get the I idea. Go. You get the water slide up ahead. I go. Hello. I go. Oh, oh, I see a little bird's nest in the back corner there. I go okay. So this is, um, yeah, they're still building here. You can see, okay, th these are more rooms that have a pool access. This is more of a uh, chill spot, I guess. You've got more of these like loungers right here. Not so much a kid zone, but I can see that water slide does not empty into this pool. So it's its own separate region. So I'll we'll have to go check that out and see what's back here. All right. Yeah, I hear I hear like engine noise, so I have a hunch that water slide's on. It's almost my job. Yeah. Okay, here, buddy, you hop out. Come my baby. There you go. Coconut. Coconut. Yeah. All right. Whoa, that ladder's a little wonky. <laughs> hey, that ladder's a little wonky. Just be careful. Okay. It looks like it sounds like it's on. Hold on, Forrest. Oh, it's definitely on. So I can hear the water. I can see the water pouring out. Okay. So now we're talking more like the kids, the kids' pool. Again, although deep. This would be too deep for Forrest to plunge into. Uh, whoop. Yeah, you go on the side. Go, go right up there. Yeah, you go to the slide. Yeah, yeah, I'll come. 
Oh, hello, Granite. All right, go for it, bud. Forrest, I'll ride with you. Hold on. All right, here comes Granite coming down the slide. Power slide. Whoop. Boop. <laughs> so it's not like the fastest slide, but it's still got some curves. Cedar, go for it. Go fat. Forrest, I'm coming for you, dude. Okay. I'll go, Forrest. I'll go, Forrest. Here comes Cedar. Okay, so the trick there, you gotta go on your knees. See, you got some speed. So I would call this like a, uh, this is more the kids area. This is the zero entry style. Yeah, but again, yes, I'm not being critical. This is a great pool, but it's deep. Like again, forest, we'd have, this is certainly a supervision type area. Oh, there's a crab in the pool. Whoa, don't step on it. Should I get it? I think you can. I think it's dead. Okay. Oh, poor little guy. It's, oh, it's, yeah, it just fell apart in your hand. Oh, out of his shell. Probably thought, like, whoa, look at this clear water. water. It's actually <laughs> chlorine. Okay, so, yeah, this would be uh, too deep for Forrest just to kind of play in by himself. But, you know, you should watch your kids anyway, as they say. All right, let me jump up here with Forrest, go down the slide. Oh, there's outdoor showers right there. Okay. Up we go. You ready, big boy? Bye, Cedar. Yeah. Whoa, 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 Cedar. Watch out, Granite. Jeez. Cedar, that's a good technique. The old, like, push and go. I think with Forrest, we're going to take the slow route. Boy. All right, big boy. You excited for this? <laughs> okay, one. Let the water pressure build up behind me. Here we go! Uh -oh. Here we go! Maybe if we lay down. Uh, nope. All right. Keep going. A little push. That's okay. Oh, I don't mind really slow. Uh -oh. Woohoo! Uh -oh. All right. Wait for us to finish. Here we go, Forrest. No! Stop Here it! Here we go! Stop! We're going to hit the bottom. Boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. The big climax. Ah! Woo! Was that the five? Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. I'm gonna do that again. You wanna do it again? Yeah. Nice. We'll go I'm to mama for a second. Okay. okay. So that's why the guys. Woo! Tell me that. All right. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay. Good slide. Good slide. Mommy, give me that. Watch this. You can touch here. Oh. Can you touch? There, there you me. go. Oh, great. It's just going to backspin on that. <laughs> there you go, Forrest. Yeah. Okay, so it's not so. It's, it's, he, he's got it. He's four now, you know, so he's got that, like, ability. But if he were to slip and fall, I don't know if he'd be able to get up in this depth of water. No, it's it was, yeah, yeah. You know what we need out here, Kel? Uh, margaritas. Exactly. I was going to say a couple of beers, but I like where your, your mind's at. <laughs> Let's just check the time real quick. It's way too early. 10.30. Is that too early for a margarita? I think it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Hey, nice. Good one. <laughs> In the end, the hotel, awesome. Yeah. Beautiful really property. Nice property. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yes. been super friendly. As you saw, they decorated the room with the kids. Oh, uh, on our second night, it's actually day two. On the second night, they uh, redid the stuffed animal. The towel, towel animal. Towel. Yeah, yeah it, was, made it. it was pretty cool. Yeah, into a different so, animal for them. Yeah, it was and fun. brought little little sweets, yes. uh, dried fruit and stuff at the other. Yeah, day. little cakes. So that was awesome. But yeah, I would say uh, you stay here, staying in Porta Princesa, yeah, either on the that. beginning or the end of your your trip to the <laughs> island. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Boris, I'm coming, dude. Whoa! Come on, big dog. You got this. Whoa! How was that? Good. You want to go again? Yeah. You want to walk? Okay, okay all here. right. There you go, bud. All right. Yeah, the slides, that's that's a couple of hours right there. So just real quick from our room, I'll head over and show you those uh, overwater bungalows. I'm not going to like try to go into them. I just wanted to actually see what they look like for myself, at least from the outside. But it's really a gorgeous path. Now, this resort, the Princesca Garden, is actually in their soft opening. I kind of got some of the backstory. They built this right in like... 2019 or something within the pandemic and immediately shut it down so to see them back and actually like actively building and of course all that big contraption over there 
it's pretty great. So it definitely survived the, the worst of all of that and tourism certainly back on now uh, on the island. So that's good news. And you're right on the beach. I don't know if there's actually like swimmable beach ocean or if it's just like a, a sandbar. Um, but we'll take a look as we get out there. But yeah, you can see so yeah, the ocean's just right here, so I guess it's low tide now. It'd be interesting to see what it all looked like during uh, during high tide. Because that does look like you could go out there and swim if it just wasn't uh, low tide right now. You can smell the salt water. Ah, beautiful. All right, so they got this nice built canopy here some mangroves that you get to walk over. Yeah, oh, all types of shoots on these uh, mangroves. Wow, gorgeous. Nice ocean breeze. Now, I don't know if these are even completed yet, but we'll take a look. types of uh, fish in the water not very deep it's only like a maybe a foot or so deep right there Ooh. okay well let's just see I'll go straight there's a veer off over here but they're big okay this one looks like it's under construction uh, right here yes yeah, so they're still doing some building but wow gorgeous oh there they are okay so the villas are actually over here these overwater villas. Um, okay, so this must just be something that's still being worked on or under construction. I don't know what they're gonna be doing with all, all this docking, but okay, so there's the break out there. So this water's all just calm, beautiful. And these are the villas over here. They're overwater villas. So you wouldn't necessarily be able to swim from the villa but it is beautiful. Yeah, really nice. There's some security guards here. Yeah, I have a hunch there's just still something being built all out here with all of this, but yeah, cool. All mangroves all through here, it's beautiful. Man, just sit and soak. More mangroves this way, but one, two, three, at least six or seven overwater villas over there yeah really pretty okay so that's just a look at kind of at the uh, extension of the property with these overwater villas quite beautiful very nice property